Welcome back to Ozarks Live. It's time to go back out to the Tom at the Humane Society. That's right, Tom. How are things going over there? We have puppies. Look, pup. they're all around the place right now. <laughs> Katie, who, who, who do we have here? Oh my gosh, well, they're like, you, you think here. kittens like to play? Look at these. Come here. Ooh. I used to just hold on that. So this is Fats Domino. <laughs> Fats Domino is on this uh -huh. side. The white one is Elvis. Elvis. And then we have Frank Sinatra as the black one. And Frank Sinatra. And the cool thing about this that you told me is... Yeah. They are all from the same litter. All from all the same three. litter. All <laughs> three. So <laughs> their mom is actually here. Um, their mom's name is Adela. Uh -huh. And so they're just having a big play fit right now. <laughs> they are. They all have a hold of a toy and they're all trying to be dominant. <laughs> It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. <laughs> there you see, go. As soon as you go to pet one, there's like, okay, we're pretty cool. There, look at yeah. that. Look so at that. Elvis and, okay, Frank, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra and, and Fats, Fats Domino. Domino. And they're all from the same litter. Yep. That is so cool. Look, these are terrific pups. Yeah, they are full of play boy. and having a good time. And it's Ooh. a brother, sisters kind of thing. You know, it's just like... They're going to fight a little bit. Yeah, I'm the toughest is what that's all about. Fats is definitely the starter of the uh -huh. problem. You know, he likes to he likes well, to tease them and get them going. I noticed as, as soon as Fats got in here and saw that toy, it was like, you just made a yep. beeline for it. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the, the you know you know the process and uh -huh. everything. If you want to come in, you want to find a kitten or a cat or a pup or a, a you know. Don't forget, you know, the older animals absolutely. because you have plenty of those here as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so whenever you come in, um, you can already fill out the application online. Um, it's at swh.org under the adoptions tab. Or you can go ahead and do that here in person. And then just keep an open mind because you may come in thinking you want a puppy. And then you'll see this and you'll be like, that's a lot of work. <laughs> you may come out with a six-month-old who is actually considered an adult. So. Yeah. You never know. Um, let us match you up. But you know, if, if you're going, oh, that's just too much for me, you pick one of these pups up and it just. Oh, it just melts you. It, it really, it and really does. And then you set them They all come hey, out. Hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> See? They're playing with tails. And here we go. See? Tails are not toys. Now Fats is just as calm as cool. Oh, gee, yes, you saved me. You were the instigator. Yes, Absolutely. you were. <laughs> so, you know, before we talked about also, uh, talked a, a little, whoop, wait a minute, no, you can't have that. We talked a little bit about your needing food that you need at the time. Honestly, right now, we need adoption. Um, I know we just had a big special, but we are full all the time. Mm -hmm. So, and right now that's the norm. Um, it's still not normal for us, but it sounds like the norm because we do it all the time. Yeah. Um, and people can help support us as well, and they can do that through events that we go to. They can donate. Um, they can come to our events. You know, we'll have Lucky Paws um, in September, and they can purchase those tickets online. Mm -hmm. um, and all the money that we receive as donations stays local. It all stays here. It goes right to these guys and other animals just like them. Let's talk a little bit about volunteers yeah. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, volunteers can come in, and they can do things like this at events we call them our cuddle puddles so they can come play with the puppies um for free i mean they're volunteering their time to come do that mm -hmm. um and they can also oh, job to <laughs> i know right for. just such a bad job <laughs> um and they can also come in and walk dogs we have our reading for rescue program um and where little kids as low as three years old can come in and play and That's you know so read true. or tell stories to animals as well so mm -hmm. it's all a good thing for the animals as well as the people you know and when you talk about being able to play with the animals that's really a great way also to get to know animals as well absolutely um and we have a big backyard so yeah. if you're coming in to you know potentially meet a dog that you might want to take home Definitely take them outside, go for a walk, and see how they do with you, as well as how you handle them on a leash. And, you know, it's a big part of being a pet owner is taking them for walks and stuff like that. Well, yeah, <laughs> so. I mean, you, you may find that the pup you think is, that's the one I want. The perfect one may be just two feet away from right? you. Right? Yeah, and they may be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, older, younger. 
um, a different breed. You know, I always say we always have the people that want, you know, the little chihuahua that looks really cute, but they walk out with a pit bull yeah. who and acts the way they wanted. Or you may walk out with Elvis. Or Elvis. Give, give me the hours <laughs> and days you're open. We're open every day. So Monday through Sunday. Monday through Saturday, we're here 12 to 6, and then Sundays we're here 12 to 5. Okay, so yep. come on by the shelter, and on behalf of Elvis, thank you very much. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> I'm kind of wanting Elvis right now.